Welcome to ameliaburton.com.au and welcome to my Fat Facts series. Today we're up to part four, which is how to burn more body fat when you are exercising. I've got four main tips for you today, so let's get into it. Tip number one is exercise before breakfast or exercise on an empty stomach. You must have all your blood sugar and um, and uh, muscle glycogen stores depleted before you start burning body fat. So make sure that you are exercising the longest time possible after you eat, so that all the sugar that your body has absorbed from the food is has been has gone through your system and has been worked out. So in the mornings, you get on the treadmill, you start your cardiovascular exercise. Within 10 to 15 minutes, your blood glucose levels have been depleted right down. So you will start kicking into your fat burning stores, which is what we want. Tip number two, never ever use sugar drinks throughout your training because obviously you're in the fat burning store, you're having, your body's having a great time burning up the body fat cells and then of course you have your Gatorade or your sugary drink and bang, your blood sugar's back up there again and your body can dip into those sugar stores because sugar is your body's preferred uh, energy source over fat. Tip number three, you want to be doing Um, aerobic activity. Aerobic activity means cardiovascular, so it's huff and puff, it's sweating activity, Um, but it's where you can still talk. You can still hold a short conversation. You shouldn't be able to speak as as I am now. You should be able to say, I'm fine, how are you? So you want to be at the upper echelon of your uh, aerobic capacity, but you don't want to be at the intensity where you cannot speak. That's what we call anaerobic. That tends to be um, switching over into a different energy system, and you can probably only maintain that for two minutes anyway. If you do have an anaerobic session, such as 20 minutes of sprints or um, you know a, a track workout or something like that, if you finish with a big, good power walk or a slow, gentle jog, you you'll burn a lot more body fat that way as well. So for for you athletes out there that are doing short, sharp bursts, uh, keep doing your power walks or your jogs afterwards to keep those body fat levels down. So they're my four main tips, training before breakfast, uh, no sugar drinks, doing your aerobic training, and if you do do interval training, making sure you finish off with a good half hour to an hour of uh, gentle cardiovascular afterwards. So hopefully you can adopt those into your sessions and we'll get you burning as much fat as you possibly can. Until next time, have a great session.